Gaming Division. Hey there, welcome to Gaming Division. I'm Camera, and today is what would normally be an unboxing of Barbarossa. I had. Uh, oh, jeez, what did I buy? Um, no, I think where this came from was uh, something involved with the Tom Curry Kickstarter for Oktoberfest. Um, they advertised this because this is also by Arclight Games. Um, but it's by Kamikaze Games, and I can't tell if that's the new name Japanime Games is under, or if it's just another uh, development team uh, in, or that contracts with Arclight. Um, but if you are familiar with Town of Curry at all, which is a deck building game in which you hire maids and you pay them in love, it, it has a rather strict structure to it, it's very similar to Dominion. It, but I like how the game flows a little better. The mechanics are a little better, and they add some neater things in the expansions. Um, so I like Town of Curry better than Dominion, but the theme is somewhat questionable. Whether or not you enjoy it, that's totally fine. I'm not judging you for it. I'm just saying it's <laughs> a little weird and maybe too Japanese for most Americans. But I just ignore that and play by the mechanics because that's the type of player I am. That's why I like the game. I don't like, oh, I must have maids. Barbarossa seems to be similar in the same themes. For those who aren't getting what I'm talking about, you can see that she's kind of not wearing pants and sitting on top of a tank. Gauging by the, the manual, the art style, and the mechanics, it looks like the people who made Tantra Curry uh, we're like, this is great, but what could we add that would change it just that much and make it a whole new game instead of doing another expansion? And this is what they came up with, apparently, um, because this is also a deck building game. This also has a somewhat strategic structure in turn order um, where you have to do things in a certain order, but it makes a lot more sense. Where The, the only thing Dominion really fails in is theme because it's super convoluted. And the cards barely match up to it. Uh, in Tana Curry and Barbarossa, it's totally themed. But you look at that theme and you're like, what are we doing? One of the things that might turn you off from this game, I'm just going to put it out there right now, because I don't expect uh, a very uh, certain demographic to jump in on this game. Oh, is that. Um, if you don't recognize this, good for you, one. But uh, you're missing uh, a piece of your history books. That is the Iron Cross of Germany, uh, if I am correct. Is there, I'm not the best history person. It goes one better. Not only is that included in the artwork, but that's the theme, is that you are playing commanders in World War II Germany fighting against Russia. It's almost like they were like, let's come up with a theme that no one would support and then put hot chicks on it and see what happens. So that's why I'm sitting here talking about this so long. But it's literally, when you open it up, just a box of cards. And it actually has that piece I showed you as a uh, space holder for future expansions, I think. Um, it did come with a pack of like five promo cards. Um, and I mixed them in already because I was trying to figure out how to play it. Because uh, I was bored. Essentially, there are certain types of cards. And I'll, I'll just run through those real quick for you. You have support commanders uh, who are all like special characters. The, they're the equivalent of the private maids in uh, Tana Curry. But you also have support facilities like repair units and railway construction. Promo cards there. I don't know if that does you any good for me to show you that or not. You also have events. Um, the objective of the game is to conquer cities, not attack each other. Um, so you're you're conquering uh, cities and sites on the way to Moscow. You also have strategy cards. Yeah, we'll go ahead and show her off. Airdrop. She's about to airdrop her boobs out the top of her shirt. Yeah. Or the bottom of her. Well, I guess it's the middle. You see my, my dilemma there. That, those are strategy cards. There's events that happen when you attack cities. Uh, so most of these are like uh, Russian... Rifle Corps, General Winner, Strategic River Crossing, the Führer's Fury. 
There are site cards, uh, which are like footholds or cities. Um, so you have fortified hills, strategic positions, and you actually have um, real cities like uh, Sebastopol, Kiev, uh, Leningrad, uh, and then, of course, Moscow itself. Okay, and then you also have supplies, which are base your basic currency, essentially. That's your horse-drawn support. Um, I don't know why she doesn't wear pants. It's, I don't know if you've, if you've seen Germany, but it's not the warmest place in the world. Compared to all those, th these are your armies, infantry units, your commandos, your rear guards, your assists, your tank battalions. And there's actually a couple different tank battalions. Because uh, for World War II, uh, aficionados will tell you, uh, the Germans were famous for the, the tanks they, they created, the panzer divisions, if you will. There's not really a lot to show off for this because it's all cards. Um, it's a card game. It's a deck building game. So if you like deck building games and if you like Tano Curry and you can look past a theme for the mechanics, uh, this definitely looks like a great game. I'm going to sit down and do a couple playthroughs through it, I think, to... Uh, kind of see how it works um, instead of just going off the theory of the rule book. But um, until you see me next time, I am Camerai, and that's game over. If you want to see anything else we're up to, go ahead and click the annotations, and they'll take you to our other channels.